In this video, I'll show you step by step how Locket USB works. Locket USB can be turned on by holding down the power button until a blue light comes on. Remember to keep your fingers on the power button until the light disappears. Now that the power is on, you will notice that a red LED light will come on for a brief moment, which is confirmation that the module is powered on. Although the module is turned on, all data within the USB memory is inaccessible due to iris encryption. This is the beauty of the device. The only way to gain access to its memory is to authorize it through the user's iris. Since this is a brand new device without an iris registered on it, I will show you how you can register your iris in three easy steps. First, press the power button once and you will find that an infrared light just below the camera comes on. Second, be sure that your iris reflection on the camera is matched. Then bring the module closer to your eyes slowly until the green LED blinks with a beep. Finally, repeat the second step with the same or other iris. Note that two irises can be registered, so two different people can use the same module. Now this locket USB belongs to myself and myself only. If I try to register again, a blinking blue light will come on to confirm that this module is already tied to another user. Alright, now I've registered my iris to my locket USB, I can now start using this device for secure data storage. I think everyone is starting to see how this device works from this point forward. Every time I want to access my USB data, I'll have to authenticate my iris. Authentication is quick and easy to do. Let me show you how. Turn on the device, click the right button and an infrared light will come on right below the camera. Check iris reflection in the circular mirror and slowly draw the device closer to your face until a green LED light along with a beep sounds. That's it. Now you can use your USB with your computer, tablet or even your smartphone. Locket USB is a new level of security in data storage.